all we can think about is how painful that must have been and we don't know how we how it happened or or anything it's just it's awful Holly Taylor talking to News 4 from her home in Dallas one day after she got a horrifying call from her brother-in-law. It was a fear. It was a, it was a huge fear, um, but we, we just didn't expect that. A shallow grave with human remains inside discovered in the backyard of her mother-in-law's home in Bethany on Monday, and Taylor believes she knows who was buried there. We had... Uh, been trying to call the police, uh, Oklahoma City Police, for two weeks, trying to um, say, okay, we know now there's something wrong. Cliff would not be gone this long. He missed my mother-in-law's funeral. Clifton Taylor, her other brother-in-law, who lives in Oklahoma City, allegedly vanishing six weeks ago. It's a nightmare. We feel like we feel like the system let us down. Oklahoma City Police tell News 4 they have no missing person report under his name and no answers about why Taylor's calls were not returned. And Bethany Police can't say much right now, although they can confirm the body was in that grave for at least six weeks, and it's a man's body. There is some information on the possibility of who it could be, so that's just going to narrow the field down for them to get to an identification a lot quicker. Police are still calling it a suspicious death, but not ruling out homicide. Taylor, though, convinced the body belongs to Clifton and believes he was murdered by another family member who she says struggles with mental health issues. We have called the police multiple times because of um, I have pictures my husband just sent me um, of a time where Cliff was beat up by um, a matter of months ago, and the police didn't come out. We asked police about that on Tuesday, and they confirmed over 20 calls to the home since January. We responded to every call we get called out there. Yes, ma'am. So, for the Taylors, for now, it's just a waiting game, waiting on the medical examiner to determine the cause of death and ID the body to see if their hunch is right. He's obviously hurting. I, I, I know this is hard for him. Too, but now he's now we've lost a family member, and I feel like this could have been prevented.